Hey everybody, this is Tim Biotto and I'm back with another video review. This time I have SH Figure Arts American release of the Pink Ranger from the Mighty Morphin Power Ranger series. And checking out the front of the box, you can see we have a picture of the Pink Ranger right here with a large window where you can actually see the figure and some of her accessories. And taking a look at the back of the box, you can see her in some poses along with some of her accessories. Alright, now let's go ahead and get this open so you can check it out. And kind of unfortunate to say that they did not go back to the um, Mighty Morphin Power Ranger design that was on this little uh, back kind of card thing uh, in the box. But it does come with its uh, instruction sheet that kind of shows that you can switch off some of the hands and then its accessories. Alright, so. And in the package, you can see we have the Pink Ranger along with her power bow the Thunderslinger and her Blade Blaster which is just in the one form and we don't have uh, we don't have any of the other forms of it just it in its collapse mode right here then we have uh, three extra set of fists let me go ahead and open up this and pull up the figure So go ahead and pull out the Pink Ranger. Stand her up right here. So let me do a close-up of each of her weapons. Um, here are some of her weapons close up. This is her Blade Blaster right here. And just like all the other uh, releases of it, it's, uh, it hasn't lost any of the detail, uh, any of the little paint apps or anything like that. It's very, very nice. And um, just very good great amount of detail that I've come to uh, to see with these uh, SH Figure Arts figures. All right, and here's the Thunder Slinger. Right, and now we have her Power Bow, which is very nice. These uh, paint apps are very, they're done very well. Um, nice, clean, straight lines. I don't see any problems with the paint apps or anything like that. It, I don't know if these were done by hand. If they were done by hand, whoever does this it does a very, very good job at it. Um, I'm still hoping that uh, with the release of all five of the main characters that they're going to be able to combine somehow. But I don't really see how... I don't know if this can... I haven't played with it yet. I don't see how this can come apart, I don't, I don't think. But I don't see how the uh, other weapons are going to actually connect. I don't see any kind of connection gimmicks or anything like that. Uh, maybe, um, I don't know, maybe they aren't going to connect, but maybe later on they'll release a kind of a add-on kit that will actually have all of the weapons but in the combined uh, uh, Thunder Blaster mode. But like I said, this is phenomenal detail. Very, very good very nice so. All right, and then she comes with a set of hands for uh, her bow so she comes with a fist that will actually hold the bow and then she comes with another fist that actually holds the arrow and these little bits right here I must say they are very very sharp so be careful with that and then she also comes with some action posing fists so we got like a little karate chop fist and a little, um, I guess you could say cat scratching fist. I don't know, just a little open, half open fist. And then also she comes with a um, another set of fists for holding her blade blaster and her, uh, I guess I assume her thunder slinger. And then looking at the detail in the figure, it's very nice. Uh, uh, with the the helmet sculpt and everything like that, with the blue eyes of the of the pterodactyl, and then especially this line right here that kind of breaks up the body with the what would be I guess the wings wrapping around her helmet. Then the morpher is just 
very nice. You can see her pterodactyl coin right here. Oh, something that I kind of noticed a little bit is that I guess it's not too bad if you just don't kind of really pay attention to it, but the pinks are a little off. It looks like the pink's a little bit darker on the top portion of her body than it is on the bottom and her arms. Um, but she does come with her skirt and it is uh, slitted on the side to allow for uh, a wider range of motion with her legs and so forth. But it also looks like her the top part of her legs are that same color of pink right here. Checking out her posability. Just like all the rest of the releases, we have the two joints, uh one in the neck, one right here one in the helmet, one in the neck. Then we have the double joints right here on the arms which you can notice a little bit more uh, when you pull it down you can see that joint right there just because uh, it is a female figure and she's a little bit smaller and these little covers are a little bit smaller also but you have the double joints here in the elbow then um, here in the wrist you have a ball joint in um, in the hand then you have a wrist swivel so you can go back and forth and then it can actually turn right here inside uh, the arm part and you have the joint right here in the chest and then you have one at the belt that allows her to turn like that and then with the legs you have the double the double joint again but just because of the uh, uh, the skirt right here you can't really see it but you can see I can pull it down and then move it back up like that um, you can go all the way out, uh, out to the side. You can go back and then forward, and the skirt doesn't really hinder it because it has those little slits on the side. And then for the knees, you have double joints there, and then for the legs, you have uh, for the feet, you have a joint right here that allows you to go point the foot down and up. Then um, a joint inside here so that you can twist it, and then there's a little bit of a rocking motion in the foot and then for the toe right here you have a uh, joint so you can move the toe up if you want to take and put the blade blaster in here you can go ahead and store that in the little sheath right here Like so. And then to switch out the fist so that she can hold her bow and arrow. You just want to take, like I said, the hands are on the ball joint, so you can just take and pull them, and uh, it'll pop out. And you want to take on this hand, you want to put this hand on this arm, and then pop off this one. And then you're going to put. put the hands on the wrong side. Uh, you're going to put the hand with the arrow on this side. I wasn't really looking at the thumb, I just kind of stuck it on there. And then you're going to take this hand and put it on this side. Alright, and then once you have... Okay, that's attached good. Once you have those attached on, Then you can take the bow and you can then attach it into her hands. It easily pops off. Take it and just kind of squeeze it through and rotate it like that so that she's holding her bow. You can take that and then hold up her arm. Get a little 
awkward. Sort of like that, and and there she is with her bow and arrow. You have to do a little bit of fiddling to make it. It still doesn't even look like she's doing it right. Alright, after taking a little bit to fool around with her and try to get a good stance, I think that's about the best that I'm going to be able to get with her. There's just not, even with all the superior articulation, there's just not the right kinds of articulation sometimes to actually pull off this pose. It would be nice to have like a little cut in here somewhere or actually a, a cut to allow you to turn the glove or something in here to just get more of a a rearing back in that arm and sometimes you can get a rearing back in the arm but the arrow um, isn't actually long enough it looks like the arrowhead is is kind of right here instead of further out on the bow but just kind of messing around with it you could probably get a little bit better pose than I actually did this is probably about the best that I can do right now without spending a whole bunch of time trying to <laughs> trying to fiddle around with it and make it perfect uh, but I have to say, she's a nice addition to my already growing Mighty Morphin Power Rangers as each figure arts figures. And with each one coming out, I'm looking more and more forward to the next one coming out. I'm pretty sure that the next one is going to be the Black Ranger. And now they've just started showing uh, some prototypes of the Blue Ranger. So I'm assuming that the Yellow Ranger is going to be the last one. But uh, with that, I'm going to go ahead and conclude this review. Uh, don't forget to subscribe or follow me on Twitter. This has been Tembiota, and I'll see you next time.